Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? I'm tired. Tired? Yes, you're right, Susana. It's Wednesday, and Wednesdays are tired. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to your English class, Azucena and Juan. It's a pleasure to have you. We are just about to start with the class, okay? Here we go. Let me just move this. Okay, here we go. We have class number five. Today we're going to start section number three, okay? So let's try to pay uh, a little bit more attention than usual, right? ¿Qué tal vamos con la plataforma, Susana? ¿Ya terminó la sección 1 y 2? Eh, yes, Miss. Eh, ayer, yesterday. Very good, excellent. What about you, Francisco? Have you finished? So, so, a little. Hmm. You're missing some exercises. All right. Just in case you need help, Francisco, you can let me know, okay? If it's on my hands, I'm gonna help. Now, everybody, let's check what do we have. Actually, today we don't have that much of a content, right? But we do quite a lot. We do have quite a lot. So does it have a, be a view? Does it have a view? Right. Let me check. Uh, give me one second. Give me one second. <laughs> if you listen to some noises, please don't pay attention to it, all right? What do you do? It's the name of section three. Okay, let me check. What do you do? Okay, that's the correct one. Now, let's continue. Let's see, we have two other students. Hi, Adriana, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Adriana? Como esta? Very good. Very good. All right, excellent. How about you, Jaime? How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good to have you in class, both of you. All right, let's yeah. move on, everybody. We have this question. This is just to remember some content learned before. All right, so we have, do you remember? Mention at least three vocabulary words related. Let me see, aquí me falta related. to furniture, related to furniture. Let me see, I have the chat. Okay, Jaime, that was easy peasy, right? That was quickly, very good. Rock, television, and dresser. What else do we have, Francisco? Um, mirror, rock, refrigerator, and Sofa. Sofa. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. What else do we have, Azucena? Um, stove. Ah, stove. Lamps and desk. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. What else do we have, Adriana? Any furniture that you remember, Adriana? Tele televisions, mm -hmm. uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh, dresser, creo. Dresser. Kitchen. Kitchen. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Very good. What about you, Ronnie? Tell me three vocabulary words related to furniture. A refrigerator and sofa. sofa and desk. Desk, that's correct. Excellent, thank you. Very good. And let me check. All right, the other ones are just getting into the class, okay? So we're going to wait for them to get into the class to 
ask them those things. All right, everybody, let's pay attention to this part for singular objects, all right? Do you remember that yesterday we saw a, what formula do we use to express singular objects and plural objects, right? So today we're going to do just like a small review, right? Not like a small review because I really need you to have this very clear. So we're going to take as long as you need, all right? So for singular objects, hey, let me see. Fabiola, tell me the structure for singular objects, please. Hello, Fabi, are you there? Okay. Es Roberto Reyes, tell me the structure for singular objects, please. Okay. I have a question. No se me escucha el audio? Estoy teniendo problemas con el internet? Si se escucha, no. Miss. Si se escucha. Okay. Si se hear. escucha. Okay, excellent. Porque nadie me contesta. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Uh, Good. Let's see, Ronnie. Tell me the structure, please. Yes. Yes. There plus plus is or isn't plus a or no or plus complement. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. <clears throat> Let me go with Laura Pamela. Let's see, Laura. Hi. How are you, Laura? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. This is your first, is this your first class? Or no? Como? Ah, no, Laura. I remember you now. <laughs> es que no vi su cámara encendida, so. Yo reseteo mi cerebro every night. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Laurita, very good. Thank you. Let me go. Laurita, puede leer esta estructura, please, for plural objects? Uh, there plus er or aren't plus some er or any or no plus complement. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, thank you, right? Now, Let's try to keep our minds into this content because then you are going to practice, okay? Yeah, basically I think this is going to be the practice. Let me check. Mm -hmm. All right. This is your lucky moment. This is momento de suerte, right? Just create one sentence using singular and create another one using plural. Easy, all right? As a piece of cake. So let's create that right now. Solo van a crear una oración utilizando la estructura para singular objects y una oración utilizando la estructura para plural objects. All right? Let's work on that one, please. Recuerden utilizar el vocabulary de furniture, all right? El vocabulary que vimos ayer.
finish teacher. Excellent, Azucena, very good. Let's wait just one more minute, Azucena, and we're going to start sharing with you, okay? Just in case, if you need help, everyone or everybody or someone, if you need help, you can ask me, okay? Okay, let's get started with Azucena. Let's see, Azucena, tell me your sentences. In sentence one, uh, there is an uh, makeaway oven in my room. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some cushions in sofa. No sé si se pronuncia así, pero, pero serían como almohaditas, cojines. Ah, yeah. You can say short pi no, small pillows. Ah, es que en el yo lo traducí la palabra cojines <laughs> y me decía así cushions. Cushions. Mm, maybe it's another vocabulary word. Creo que sí es otra otra palabra del vocabulary. Pero a veces las translations no son directas a su cena, right? Así que también puede variar. Si sí, está bien, cushions, está bien. Pero y la otra que usted me dijo, ¿cómo se, me lo puede escribir ahí para, para, para yes. tenerlo en cuenta? ¿Se lo escribo en el chat box o aquí en la pantalla? Ah, ahí en el chat está bien. Bye. All right, very good. Thank you, Azucena, for your two sentences. They were correct. What about Ronnie? Let's see, Ronnie, have you finished? Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. There is a mirror in the house. Mm -hmm. That's all? That's uh, all? No, and there are, I say, I, I, I put too much picture in my house. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why. Right. Uh, too much, no, tiene que ser too many. Too many, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. I think that, uh, I don't know, it's bad. <laughs> a ver, okay, a ver, there, there, there are mm -hmm. too many, too many pictures in my house. Sí, así oh. está correcto. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Azucena. Let's see, Ronnie, thank you. Okay. Let's go with Jaime, Fabiola, and Francisco. They already passed. What about you, Regina? Hi, welcome. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Uh, there is a television in my, be in my bedroom. There are some clocks between kitchen and dining room. All right, excellent. Very good, Regina. Very good. Thank you. What about Estreberto? Let's see, Estrever Estreberto. Tell me your sentences. Hello, este, no las he hecho que estaba teniendo problemas de conexión, por eso no lo contesté al principio, ah. de hecho. Okay, okay, don't worry. Take your time. Let's go with Laura Pamela. Let's see, Laurita. Eh. 
que ya ando un poquito perdida. Es que ayer no pude estar, lo siento. Don't worry, don't worry. A ver, ¿la, ¿las hizo o no las hizo? Y así le ayudo. Es que en la primera sí la hice, pero no sé si estará bien. Shoot me, dispárenme, solo, a ver, dígame. <risa> solo puse, there is no kitchen. No hay cocina. Yeah, there's no kitchen. <risa> Alright, well, there's no kitchen. Sí, está bien. Ah, ok. Y en la segunda, there are some dishes on the table. Mm -hmm. Very good. I don't know why do you say you didn't understand if it is correct. Very good. Okay. No sé por qué me dijo que no, no, no me la iba a dar, pero sí las hizo bien. Excellent. Very good, Laurita. Let me go with somebody else. Esmeralda del Rosario, let's see, Esmeralda, tell me your sentences. Eh, miss, me acabo de conectar, ahorita las estoy haciendo. Ah, okay, don't worry, take your time, right? Meanwhile, let me check if we have somebody else. Adriana Guerra, okay, Adriana, tell me your sentences. Bueno, no sé si están buenas, pero les voy a decir. Tell me. There, um, there are so Fries on my Friday. There are some fruit, fruta, fruit, ah, fruit. On, on my Friday. Okay. Uh -huh. There is a sofa. 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 Yeah, sofa. There is a sofa. And a sofa. Mm -hmm. That's great, Adriana. Thank you. Now, let's see everybody. Just let me give you a short explanation, all right, for this part. Basically, when we say singular objects, we are talking about just one thing, right? As many of your examples, you say there is one sofa or there is a sofa in my house or there isn't a sofa at home, all right? Just for one object, right? And you can have it either in affirmative or in negative. As per usual, you have two options. Then if we go with plural objects in this one, if you are talking about one, no, if you're talking about two or more, you can make use of this structure, all right? You have to, you cannot get them confused, all right? No puedo estar hablando de muchos objetos y estar utilizando el there is, ¿verdad? No se puede, okay? So just keep into your minds that things. Let's see, Manuel Eduardo. Uh, do you have your sentences? Manuel no le había preguntado porque no lo vi en la clase de ayer. So no sabía si. I was on ship teacher and mm -hmm. I can. All right. Um, what? Um, there is a desk on my office. And there are some glasses on the desk. All right, easy piece, right? Bien facilito, ¿verdad, Manuel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, excellent, thank you. Um, let me go with somebody else. Oh, am I missing someone? Well, let's wait for the other ones to finish their own sentences. And meanwhile, let's move on to this information. Reading, two special houses. All right, so let's see. Este reading lo hice yo ayer. Entonces, si ustedes terminaron la sección 1 and 2 by yesterday, entonces ya hicieron este reading. Pero quiero chequear cómo estamos con esa pronunciation, ¿ok? Here we go. Let me have Jaime Ernesto, please. Read this paragraph. Ok. Eh, in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting story. Stories. Uh, the house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think 
Her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it. All right, excellent. Thank you so much. Very good reading, Jaime. Very good. Thank you. Let me go with Azucena. Let's see Azucena try. Okay, miss. Um, in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mr. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is a famous for her interesting story. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mr. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mr. Cisneros love it. All right, excellent, Azucena. Thank you, very good reading. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's see. This one is Miss Cisneros, right? Miss Cisneros, because she's uh, an old woman, all right? Very good. Thank you, Azucena, excellent. Now, let me check the reading of Francisco Hernandez. Okay, Francisco, your turn. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She's famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Miss Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero loves it. Excellent, very good, Francisco, excellent. Good pauses, good reading. Now, let me check to somebody else, but with another reading, all right? Now, this one, let me read it for you. Every year, <clears throat> I'm sorry, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor in a wood burning stove, right? Mr. Nelson teaches, let me see, no. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions, right? It's a girl, it's an old lady too. Her name is Lorraine. Now, with this, I'm gonna ask some of you to give me the reading. Let's start with Regina. Okay, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about na Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her home, Hogan. It has a three chairs, two bells on the floor, and a good burning stove, stove teacher. Okay. Yes, Miss Nelson. Okay. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. All right, excellent. Thank you, Regina. Very good reading. Good pause. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Let's check. If you pay attention to this reading, this is really interesting, all right? As I told you before, learning a second language not only means to learn the language and that's it, grammatically talking and speaking, all right? No, it's not about only that. It's also learning about history and this is really interesting. They, she doesn't live in a normal house, basically. So she has a Hogan and she lives with 
um, let me see, with really not much things, right? She has only like three chairs, two beds and on the floor, and that's it basically. So it's really amazing. Actually, if I'm talking about myself, I didn't know anything about this. So this is really interesting. Let's go with Ronnie Avalos. Okay. <clears throat> Teacher, only, only uh, I want a question. Uh -huh. uh, the two is natives. 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 Mm -hmm. Native. Okay. <clears throat> Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about natives, American tribes. What is tribes? Tribes. 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 Most people stay in the hotels, but some people stay in the traditional natives American homes. Cult Hogan, Lorena Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, uh, and visit 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 to stay in the in her home. It has three share two beds on the floor in a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teach her guests about Navy American tradition. Excellent, thank you, Ronnie. So le voy a explicar esto, Ronnie. Native significa nativos, right? Native se refiere a uno solo, porque ya tiene el plural aquí en tribes, ok? Ah, tribes. Ok, pero si... Tribes es tribu. Native, exactly. Una tribu, las tribus nativas de América, right? Ya. Yeah. Ahora yeah. bien, si solo estamos hablando de las personas que nacieron en United States, let's suppose, ahí sí ya son natives, ¿verdad? Ahí ya es plural, natives. Pero aquí es Native American tribes. Es uh, Arizona beautiful. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, uh, I went to... To 20 years ago. Mm. That's great. That's cool. Uh, so beautiful. It must be hot, right? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. Now, listen, if you pay attention to this chart again, les he pedido que presten mucha atención a esto porque es history, right? Es lo que ella hace. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Está hablando de que ella les enseña a sus invitados las tradiciones de los americanos nativos, right? Which they are not white. <laughs> All right, let me tell you. Okay, let's go with the last person who's going to be Jose Orlando Echeverria. Good morning, Miss. Good evening. Okay. Um, every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes, called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, uh, a teacher from Arizona, in, invites visitors to stay in her in, in her Hogan. It has, has three chairs to bed on the floors in a good burning, burning stove. Miss Nelson teacher her gets about Native American, American tradition. All right, excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. Very good. All right, now listen, everybody. Let's move on to something else, All right? With this, we finish section two. Let's move on. Jobs, vocabulary, and activities. Man, this is a really a long topic, all right? So let's try to pay attention. We have these different jobs, all right? Jobs, and let me see the activities. You will see the activities later, okay? But right now, let me tell you the pronunciation of jobs. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, Fly attendant, judge. Aquí no es hood, 
ni juzgue, no, aquí es judge, judge, lawyer, musician, musician, no musician, musician, nurse, pilot, right, for the ones, para los que todavía creían que eh, marcador era pilot, it's not, right, it's a different thing, totally different thing. So let's see, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard. Listen, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress, all right? So let me check some of you. <laughs> let me see if some of you can give me the vocabulary. Let me start with Manuel Eduardo. Manuel, if you can, please give me the vocabulary. Okay, uh, I don't remember how can I say kosher. Cashier. Cashier, mm -hmm. okay. Cook or chef. Doctor, uh, flying attendant. Uh, la otra era George. Church. Church. Uh -huh. uh, lawyer, musician, nurse, uh, pilot, police officer, uh, receptionist, uh, salesperson, security, security guard, uh, singer. Waiter and waitress. Waitress, excellent. Waitress. Thank you, Manuel. Very good, all right? La diferencia entre waiter and waitress es que esta es mesero, waiter, y waitress es camarera, right? Basically, when you're talking about somebody from the genre uh, feminine, all right? When you're talking about a woman, basically. Okay, let's move on with... Esmeralda del Rosario, please give me the vocabulary. Okay. Uh, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, uh, hodge, judge, lawyer, judge, mm -hmm. lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, or Officer, yes. Yes. A receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Esmeralda. Very good. Let me go with Laura Pamela. Okay, Laurita. Si necesita ayuda en una palabra, me avisa, okay? Okay. Okay, sure. Cook or chef. Doctor, fly attendant, judge, mm -hmm. lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, silent person, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Excellent, thank you. Just repeat this one after me um, security guard. Security guard. Excellent. Thank you. There you have it, Laura. Let me go with Miguel Morales, please. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, just, player, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, Sales person, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. All right, excellent. Just repeat after me. Judge. Just. Judge. Just. All right. Thank you, Miguel. And let me go with Adriana Guerra, please. How is your Chef, doctor, 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 
Adancha, George, Langer, Musician, Nurse, Pilot, Policy Officer, Receptionist, Sales Person, Security, Guard, Singer, Waiter, Waitress. All right, thank you, Adriana. Now, just give me, just let me give you a review for everybody, just in case that we forgot how to pronounce some of these words. Let me give you a review, okay? Here we go. Let's pay attention. For the ones that are missing with this vocabulary, esto para lo que, los que todavía faltan con entregarme el vocabulary. Listen carefully. Cashier, cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot. Police officer, receptionist, salesperson, salesperson, no, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Okay? So let me go with the other ones that I'm missing. Lourdes, please give me the vocabulary. Okay, let's go with Azucena then, please. Okay, Miss. Um, cashier, mm -hmm. cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, Waiter and waitress. All right, excellent. Thank you, Asusena. Very good. Francisco Hernandez, please give me the vocabulary. Everybody, let's pay attention, please. All right, continue, Francisco. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, Josh, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer. Receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Regina. Regina, usted no me ha dado el vocabulary, right? No, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot. Police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Regina. Okay. Let's go with Ronnie Avalos. <clears throat> Doctor, flight attendant, yes, uh, lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Uh, I mean, she's a musician, mm -hmm. yeah. yes, nurse, yes. pilot, police office, receptionist, self person, security girl, go security. Guard. Guard. Mm -hmm. Senior, waiter, waiter, waiter. All right, excellent. Thank you, Ronnie. And let's go with Jaime Ernesto, please. Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, Police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Excellent, Jaime. Very good. And let's see, Fabiola. Fabiola, I saw your message. If you can't participate, if not, don't worry, okay? 
Eh, no, ya, aquí estoy. Exacto. Okay. Eh, cashier, cook or chef, doctor, fly attendant, eh, judge, lawyer. No, ¿cómo, cómo se pronuncia la F? Lawyer. La, la, lawyer. Um, music, que, no, es que está todo así. Musician, nurse, pilot. La, la de pilot me recuerda a 21 pilot. Nada que ver, pero mi mente lo asocia. Uh, Police officer, receptionist, eh, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, y waitress. All right, excellent, Fabiola. Very good, all right? Excellent. Now, listen, guys. Do you have, do you have any question about this vocabulary? All right. If you have questions, you can ask me. Si tienen preguntas de qué significa este vocabulary, pueden hacerlas, all right? Este es su momento. Miss, have a question. Uh -huh. eh, bueno, en algunas, por ejemplo, o quizás en la mayoría en realidad, es, es la, está mencionando la profesión o el oficio o la ocupación como tal. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y en una oración, obviamente dependiendo del personal pronoun que ocupemos, así es, si es cajero, cajera, camarero, camarera, mesero, mesera. O variaría o va a variar. El, esta, estas palabras en esos casos. Solo en estos dos eh, encontramos la variación. Si este sería mesero y este es camarera. Los camarera, demás no. Okay. Solo okay. depende de, del subject que usted vaya a utilizar. Ok. okay. Only this means. All right. Excellent. Now, the pronunciation of okay. uh, I have a question. Ajá, uh, uh, What is cashier? Cashier es cajero. Ok, ok, thank you. Right. Pero no el cajero porque, no el cajero donde sacan ustedes dinero, porque ese es ATM, right? Eh, este es el cajero, la persona que le da el dinero, yeah. ya sea en el yeah. super. Ok, okay. thank you. Let me see, ¿qué es la pronunciación de la letra G? Uh, let me see, Azucena, in which one? ¿Cuál específicamente, Azucena? Eh... La letra G de mu musician, algo así. Ah, musician. Esta, Susana. Yes, uh, musician. No, musician. Musician. Mm -hmm. Yes. Musician, okay. ok. Ok, very good. La que suele costar más, eh, estimados participantes, quizás me atrevo a decir que sería la de judge y la de lawyer, right? Other than that, the more you practice, the better you'll become, all right? Entre más practiquemos, más fácil se nos va a quedar. All right. Now, uh, aquí tenían las pictures de cada uno de ellos, pero en realidad en el video a ustedes no les piden que lo llenen, llenen las worksheets. Ok, so vamos a trabajar con estos. Ya mencionábamos, veíamos los jobs, o como mencionó Mr. Echeverría, right? Eh, las profesiones or anything else. Aquí vamos a ver los places and also the activities, all right? Porque cada una de esas personas ejerce diferentes actividades. So, let's see, places. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Estos son los cuatro lugares que la platform les brinda en el video, okay? In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Then we have activities. Wears a uniform, right? Sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets, all right? Now, let me ask you, do you have any question about this vocabulary, the meaning of this vocabulary? ¿Alguna duda en este vocabulary? ¿Algo que no sepan qué significa y quieran saber? Handles money, teacher. Handles money, maneja dinero. Handle oh, es okay. manejar. Ok, thank you. Excellent, very good. Somebody else? All right, everything is pretty clear there. 
let's move on. Let me ask some of you. Excuse me. Great tickets. Great tickets. Hmm, great tickets es la persona que o puede sellar o escribe los tickets, ya sea facturas o bills, que también son facturas, ¿verdad? Deudas. All right. Okay. Excellent. Nobody else? Okay, so everything is clear. Let me move on with this. So les voy a preguntar algunas people, right? Some person, some people over here, and then I will move on. Let me go with Laura Pamela, tell me the places, and after Laura, Orlando, you will tell me the activities. Action. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Thank you. Activities. Where's a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night and writes tickets. That's correct, thank you. All right, let's go to these guiding examples, everyone. Let me have Miguel Morales, can you please read the first guiding example. A chef work in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Adriana Guerra, read the second example, please. Que lo lea. Yes. Um, a chef year, no, a chef year, Where's a Adriana? Where's Where's a uniform? A uniform. Uniform. Okay, everybody, give me one second, please. I'm back. Thank you. Thank you guys for waiting. All right. So let's see everybody. Let's check. These are the guiding examples. What are we going to do next? Let me move on. Let's practice. Let me have Lourdes. Can you please read the instructions? Yeah. Let's practice. One, work individually. Two, create at least three sentences using the vocabulary present. Three, then share your sentences with the class. Excellent, Lourdes, thank you. All right, you know what to do, everybody. You got the vocabulary. You just have to work with it, all right? Let's work on the sentences, please. If you have questions, you can ask me as well. Teacher, could you please put the night slider? This one or the guiding examples? Uh, or the ones before that one? Or la que estaba relacionada con los jobs? For me, the, this one. This one, all right, excellent. Thank you.
teacher, ¿cómo se dice contador en inglés? Accountant. Eh, ¿Cómo se escribe? <risa> ya le paso ahí en el chat. Okay. Okay, bueno, gracias. Okay, let me go, Fabiola. There you go. Ya lo vio, Fabi. Ah, ¿en dónde lo, en dónde lo puso, teacher? En el chat. Ah, <laughs> I wait. No, wait. Sorry. Ahorita se lo pongo. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, there you go, Fabi. I hope you can see it now. Ah, okay. I see. Gracias. You're welcome, honey. Let me go. Let me see. In a hotel, the people work at night. Mm -hmm. The waiter works hard. It's true. In a hospital, the doctors and the nurses and nurses work hard. Mm -hmm. Hi, man, Francisco, you do get into a into a competition, right? Both of you write the same, not the same sentences, but they do write at the same time. <laughs> All right, I'm checking your sentences and are correct, Hi, me and Francisco. Why is everybody sending me the sentences? You don't want to talk. You have to practice your speaking as well. Okay, let me start with, let me start now because it means that you have finished. Let's go with Fabiola. Fabiola, tell me your sentences, please. Me faltan dos. <laughs> okay, bye. Let me go with Lourdes. Lourdes, do you have your sentences? I have three, but I don't know if <laughs> no sé si son buenas, <laughs> pero la voy a decir. <laughs> uh, nurses works e in a hospital. The cashier handles money, and she wear a uniform in an office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those yeah. are correct. Lourdes? Okay. okay, thank you. What about Azucena? Uh -huh, Azucena? Yo le he hecho una oración, teacher. Ok, ok, I got you. Let me know when you're finished, guys, all right? Finish, teacher. Finish. Okay, Regina, tell me your sentences and after Regina, eh, Orlando. Okay. Uh, the flight attendant wears a uniform. Mm -hmm. The receptionist sometimes works at night in a, in, in a hotel. In a hotel. Mm -hmm. All right. Very um, good. Tiene otra. Okay. Uh, sí. The nurse works hard in a hospital. That's true. That's true. Thank you, yeah. Regina. Very good. Okay. Very honest sentences. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Mr. Echeverria, tell me your sentences. Okay, Miss. Number one, a flight attendant works in the airline. Mm -hmm. In the airline. Uh, number two, a security a security guard works at night. Mm -hmm. And number three, a uh, receptionist talks to people. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Very good, Orlando. Let me check the the other sentences that Azucena is sending in here. Mm -hmm. 
the doctors wear a uniform in a hospital always. Yes, as you said, that's correct. The waiters works at night. <laughs> yes, Azucena, those sentences are correct. Very good. Gracias, Miss. All right, there you go. All right, everybody, somebody else who has finished and I just need someone's participation and then you are dismissed. What about Miguel or, I don't know, Laura or somebody else? At least one sentence. Aha, Miguel. A nurse works in a hospital. A cashier handles money. Handles money. Very good, Miguel. That's true. A cashier handles money. All right. And let's see. Okay. Ronnie, uh huh. I can say that a cashier works in the bank. Yes, uh, yes, actually, yes. Yeah, a cashier handles money. That's right. All right. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Ronnie. Yeah, it's a doctor work in the hospital and a doctor work at night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are correct. In this okay, thank you. Day, right? Ah, a chef work in the restaurant. A chef works in a restaurant. That's true. Yeah. All a right, chef. everybody. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Um, Solo les voy a decir algo. Eh, bueno, yo creo que ya me comuniqué con los que me mencionaron que tenían un problema con la plataforma, right? Solo para Adriana. Adriana, eh, si usted todavía le aparece como. ¿Cómo me dijo que aparecía en la plataforma, Adriana? Eh, que aparece que este, dice que. Que es, es como asistente y que. Que no darán como un certificado. De eso. All right. Bueno, no se preocupe, Adriana. Solo uh -huh. se me hacía falta decirle eso. No se preocupe. Yo ya averigüé y no hay ningún problema. Eso es solo cuestión de administración. Creo que todavía no han arreglado bien esa parte de la plataforma, pero todo el trabajo que usted está realizando sí está siendo contado, right? Y sí le van a dar uh -huh. su diploma al final del level. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. All right. All right, Gracias. everybody. You're welcome. All right, everybody. That okay. was pretty much it for today's class. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.